So welcome back to another Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yucca. And this week we are talking about religion, atheism, and paganism. So we've got two questions which are somewhat similar thematically, so we stuck them together this week. And they're in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and actually address the second of the two questions first, which uh, comes from who sees who, and they write, I am an atheist who is extremely interested in paganism, but atheism means believing in no deities. So how do you explain this? I'm sincerely searching for answers. So I interpreted this question as them kind of asking, can you be a pagan and an atheist at the same time? And I think yes. So I clearly identify as being a pagan, and I don't believe in gods or deities. So that's what the term atheist actually means. If you break apart the roots of the word uh, a, a is in no or non, and theist believing in a the, you know, God or gods. I use the term non-theist because we often associate the term atheist today as meaning someone who has no religion or doesn't believe anything as opposed to just doesn't believe in gods. So it's a little bit of vocabulary um, on what you choose to use. I choose to use the term non-theist because I think that makes it clear that I, that I don't believe in deities and I'm not talking about religion. Now we come across the uh, very common issue of what is a pagan and what isn't a pagan. You're going to get different answers from different people. I don't think in any way that believing in a deity or deities or divine is a prerequisite for being a pagan. So, our next one comes from Dika. Not sure if that's how the name is said. And they write, Hello, I found your channel today and am already binging on it. I wanted to ask a question that I don't see discussed a lot and that I've only seen mentioned here and there with a line or two. Can there be a pagan that does not take it as a religion? I've read that there are Wiccans that take the idea for a god and goddess just as symbol through which to act since it's easier for the mind to understand a higher power, but was still represented as a branch that and not just witchcraft. I'm not interested in Wicca in general, but this is the only place I've seen it being discussed. I'm just beginning, so so far I'm only trying to learn what things are how they work, etc. Before I decide what path to take, and even though I do feel some kind of connection with different, let's call them images, but I am not so certain I take them as actual god-like creatures, as I'm used to people around me being talking about the Christian idea of a god. I would love to hear what you think and get some tips on where to look for information about such type of thing. So. It seems to me like they're like this person's idea for what a religion is requires a deity or a god. And just like paganism, the term, we get into needing to talk about well what is religion? And that's a an, a really interesting question. And it's a term, it's a, it's a thing that we talk about all the time. Um, it's been really popular in the media recently about what religion somebody is or isn't or all of that, but we rarely do we get down to describing and agreeing on what a religion actually is. So you're gonna get a lot of different answers. And I was thinking a lot about this, trying to figure out what what is religion? And so the conclusion that I came up with was 
that religion is a lens, a perspective through which we see and interpret the world. It's and it's a choice, too. Even though there are people who are brought up in a specific religion, they continue to choose at some point to believe and use that worldview. Often religion also has some, some bit to it that helps us decide how to behave. Now, because some of the really popular religions right now, specifically the Abrahamic, are theistic religions, I think that people often confuse the belief of a deity with religion. And some religions, in fact, have deities, and this idea of the concept of a higher power or things like that as part of the, their world view. But it isn't necessary to be a religion to have a deity or a god. So as I answered before in the first part of this question, I really don't think that to be a pagan you need to believe in a god or goddess. Um, I don't think that you need to even uh, believe in them metaphorically. I think, you know, obviously there's there's pluses and minuses to that, but you really don't need to have deity to have a religion. So yeah, I would love to hear from you folks what you think a religion is. Let us know in the comments below. And next week we're going to be continuing, sort of continuing this conversation in a twist that I never would have imagined before reading the, the uh, topic. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. And take care.